Well, hey, welcome um, to another video. How interesting you're here because I'm here too. So I guess maybe we should talk some math, huh? Today, we continue our journey around coordinates. Um, and we are going to start talking about like how we start to graph these coordinates. Like what do they look like? as we plot them, right? Plot, that term we use of like where we put them on a grid. How do we plot these coordinates and then create graphs out of them, whether it be a line plot graph or um, some other fun things like linears um, that we'll talk about as we get into this today. So as always, it's only gonna work if we really dive in and, but, and get going before we totally jump in though one thing we're going to keep in mind today is understanding the rules or maybe another term we could think about is the relationship that is happening between our ordered pairs or the concept of what is happening between x and y there is a relationship that occurs between them and that's what we've talked about uh, in the past couple videos, again, right, where you think about like the distance that occurs from one point to the next is like, oh, well, I went over, you know, four and then I went up three. Um, and so this relationship might be my X, I'm adding, what did I just say? Four. And then Y, maybe I'm adding one, two, three, four, five or something, right? Some sort of relationship that we see when it talks about the distance between two plots on a graph and that will get there um, but before we do that let's just go ahead and dive in with kind of the work that we're doing i'm going to start with the concept of a rule a lot of times they'll give us a rule so we might see something where it might even just say the rule and i may have an in and out box where it shows me my x and y coordinates and our rule let's say for this one would be like y is equal to 3x plus 2. All right so we're not even to the graphing part but when given this rule what we get to do is we just get to play this game um and what that really means is i'm going to just say okay well then let's figure out well if x is equal to one that just means I need to figure out y is equal to three times one, right? That's that trick when two are next to each other like that, we're actually multiplying. It does not make it the number 31. It means three times one plus two. So let's do that work, right? The order of operations states that I'm gonna do my multiplication before um, I do any addition. So three times one is three plus two. So y is equal to three plus two, which means y is equal to five. So that may be the first thing I plot is I have these coordinates of one, five, right? Okay, so that would be one, but we can't, we can't graph anything if we only have one set of coordinates because then it's just one dot on a grid. So let's move on and try another one. Let's say, for example, we have two. So we're going to do that same work. So if x is equal to 2, then y is equal to 3 times 2 plus 2. So y equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2. So that means y is going to be equal to 8. And let's do one more. Let's just say uh, what happens when we, make it equal, when we say x is 3. And we get to choose. Like, we really do. Because whatever number we put in, we're going to get another number out. So whatever we put in for x, we could put in 10. We could put in 20, we could put in seven. Regardless, whatever we put in for X, we're going to get a Y value out of it by following this formula. So I said three, so that means that Y is equal to three times three, because now we're substituting the X for the number three, because that's what this says, plus two. So Y is equal to three times three is nine plus two, so Y is gonna be equal to 11. So the first part of this work that I've done is notice we haven't even graphed yet. We're following these rules and we've been doing these in class. We've had them on some of our homework. Um, so this is something that feels a little familiar. And of course we keep practicing. If it doesn't feel familiar, that's okay, right? Keep watching the videos, keep practicing, keep asking questions. But now what we get to do is we're actually going to take and graph what it looks like when we have this rule that y is equal to 3x plus 2. So, well, let's start with a coordinate, 
right? Let's start with our grid. So we're gonna have to build out a grid. And here I'm just gonna start my origin. Zero, zero. Oh, hold on. Start my origin of zero, zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark out some X coordinates. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm actually going to need 11. Let's see if we can shift this up. Aha. Look at that. Sorry, so impressed with that. Uh, I'll put it down here. Okay, so again, if we label, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, those are kind of crammed in there. That's not the prettiest work. Um, and then let's just plot this. So I'm gonna, you know, I'll just call this A. And A is one five. So I'm gonna go to one and then I'm gonna go up five, one, two, three, four, five. So that would be right here. That would be A. Call this one B, which is two eight. So I'm gonna go over X two and up eight. And then I have three eleven. So three eleven. We'll call this one C. So now that I have them all plotted, the cool thing is is I just get to connect the dots. I'm really thinking about how do these dots connect. And I'm gonna do that in color so we can see it. And I'm gonna go just draw a line through here. And that's what that looks like. That is actually what happens when we graph 3x plus 2 as our rule and like what that looks like with these coordinates. And that's pretty cool stuff, like honestly. And we can do that to like graph information and talk about things. So let's put that into a real world scenario. So this makes sense and it isn't just random words. Um, so let's try this out again. So let's come up with a scenario. Let's just say, for example, I earn $5 per hour of work. Okay, so I want to be thinking about how, what that means is X is going to be equal to my hours that I work, and then Y would be equal to my money. So I would have this rule that states I have X and Y that if we think about that. If I work zero hours, well, I would get zero dollars. Makes sense. Um, if I worked one hour, I would get five dollars. If I worked two hours, I would get ten dollars, right? Because I'm getting five dollars for every hour. Um, if I work three hours, I would get $15. And then we say, okay, well, what's the rule that we see here? Uh, noticing the rule, one thing I always like to do is, you know, start with like here, this isn't going to help us. So I'm going to focus on this one. I'm starting at one and I get to five. So I got bigger. I know that I get bigger by multiplying or dividing. So my rule is like maybe X plus uh, what in this case, four y because if i put four in place of or if i put one in place of x one plus four equals five which is true but my rule has to fit to all so let's try the other one two plus four does that equal ten and it doesn't so actually x plus four equals y is not my rule my rule is wrong so since i saw that or that addition didn't work then Maybe we're multiplying. So I got to think here. Let's see. If I had one in place of x times five equals five. That's true. And then over here, if I had two times five, that equals 10. So that works. Um, and then three times five, that equals 15. So that works. So here's actually my rule. And then here are my coordinates. I actually already have coordinates made. I don't even have to use the formula because I was just thinking logically about math. So if I work no hours, I get no money. If I work one hour, I get $5. If I work two hours, I get $10. And if I work three hours, I get $15. 
So why don't we graph what that would look like? Like, let's put that on a coordinate and make sense of it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make one of these. I'm gonna make one of these cool things. Um, let's cross out here. Again, we know our origin is zero, zero, which is actually A as well. Yeah, that's the cool part because A is zero, zero. If I work zero hours, I get zero dollars. And then we would have one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm actually going to put this into increments. This is a good time to kind of look at this. Like I could sit here and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? Because I need to get to 15. I could do that. But as you saw in my last one, that looked pretty messy. Oh, no. Uh oh. I just lost our screen. There it is. Okay, Whew. hitting too many buttons. All right, so that got messy last time. So let's just think about more about if I know the first one's zero, the next one is five. So maybe right here, I'll just call this one five. And I'll call this one 10. I'll call this one 15. And then that allows me to think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. And it allows me just to kind of organize my work a little bit better, not cram all those numbers in. So we already got one, one. So now we have X's. Oh, I didn't label this. We should label this. Sorry. So much drama losing my screen. I lost track of what I was doing. So we're going to take one. We're going to go one, five. So that would be B. And then two, 10. So two, 10. That would be C. And then three, 15. And that would be G. And again, if I'm going to graph these, I'm just going to connect these dots with the straight, most possible straight line I can, right? So not always going to be perfect when you're actually, I mean, it's not. And I should model that when you're writing it with a pencil, it's not. But I actually realized what I could do is use this tool and kind of try to line that up the best I can so it's nice and straight. Oh, it's not even going through A. Let's try that again. There we go. There. So there would be that line that goes through it as I connect them as straight as possible. But again, true. Like after all of that, I was like, it's okay to just use pencil and try to draw the most straight line that you can. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at with the skill. Like, how do we put all this together? It's a lot, right? One, I got to understand the rule. Two, I got to use my rule to build my coordinates. And then three, I have to plot and graph, which I love that. That was just three steps. Let's do that. So again, we think about this process, right? One, I have to know my rule. Two, I have to create my coordinates. And then three, I 